on the red light so we're gonna do a little test on the camera <clears throat> and the little wheel here see what it fall off or not okay tire pressure looks good car is very dirty it's okay The little whale is doing good. Video can't get very long, so gotta do the best I can. I saw that was my neighbor. It doesn't look like my neighbor because it didn't wait back. So car still warming up. Let's go to manual mode so we can check out the rev light. car I had a green set at 3,000 above yellow is a 4,000 orange is 5,000 and center is about 6,000 that's where this car was shipped the best basically the latter half of the the setup what is up with the idiots trying to get really close to me dumbass truck is bigger than yours. <laughs> I apologize. It's just funny. If you get up next to an expensive car or a sports car or exotic car, you will have to assume the, the guy have a might have a bigger car than you do when it comes to a truck or SUV. Oh, look at that. How beautiful that is. Cows and stuff. Horses. Donkeys. There's a cowboy out there. It's three. It's three cowboys. Climbing up 
the hell? Not sure the whale did anything. Killer whale. Not a dolphin, so a killer whale. So I don't think I drove this car for at least two weeks. Maybe three weeks. It is COVID-19 after all. Even though it's the latter end of the color COVID-19. I have my first shot with Pfizer. Still not going to any car shows or car meets. I would say more like car meets than show. Um, just because. Look at the killer whale. The killer whale is doing good. Doing just fine. It's not moving about like in a truck. It's more violent in the truck. Not so violent in the in the Corvette. Why is this? What's going on with this Nissan Titan just keep crossing the lane? What's up with that? Doesn't know how to drive its own lane. Just doesn't know. Just kind of want to keep putting his tire in the middle lane. Maybe that's just his driving style. Or he just being an asshole when you get next to me. Uh, what's happening here? What is happening? Sometimes when... I know that sometimes people want to get on the left or right, either way, and they're on the upset side of the lane. Underneath of their mentality, they will keep drifting towards where they want to go the whole time. Even though I see myself doing that, even though it's not I am or other people is on the wrong side of the lane. Because deep down, I think the body telling the hand says that's where, you know, that's where they want to go. But in this case, that Titan just caught back again. So basically, he got somewhere to go, more important than than, uh, than the rest of us. It's 45 miles an hour here. I'm already doing 51. That lady just waved at me, or she just dropped off a piece of her hair. I don't know. How long can this video be? I don't think it's very long. Get close to the Titan a little bit. Let's take the freeway back. Nissan Versa. I love Nissan Versa. Tiny little thing. It's losing a hubcap. Nissan Versa is going to the mall. Yep, Nissan Versa is going to the mall. Going to the mall. It's a little reflection on my own car. Yeah, I really hate driving this thing. It's so lazy. It doesn't pick up. There's so much power. There's so much... So much lag. So much... Displacement, I would say. A lot of displacement on this... In this car. The piston is super heavy. It's a heavy-ass piston. It's worse than driving a tr than, than, the, than the truck. So during local, it doesn't go anywhere. Get on the freeway, it's relentless. It's still not as nimble. It's the nature of this, uh... This beast. This beast is a lazy beast. It has a speed, just not nimble. 
What kind of animal would you say is kind of like this? An elephant? Elephant's slow. Maybe like a bear. You know bear can run like 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour? Maybe like a bear. Got all the muscle, but not as nimble. Or like a wildebeest. Is a corvette like a wildebeest? Wildebeest runs very fast, but not very nimble. Could be a killer whale. Fast and heavy. Maybe like a killer whale. Sometimes it's nimble. A lot like this, uh, oh, I just saw it. the Nissan truck. It's a dude. It's a dude, man. Cutting in and out. Hiding like a dumbass. It's a dude in the hat. It's a dude in the hat. It's a dude in the hat. I gotta get on the freeway. So I can exchange my lane with the guy behind me. Take the freeway back. Take the freeway back. Another yellow Corvette. A lot of stingrays out here. Not many people buy Z06 or Grand Sport. Way too many stingrays. I'm not saying stingrays bad, it's just uh, a lot of stingrays. What's happening? Why are we so slow? Yeah, this is my driving style. I think it's due to the slow ass car. I mean, this one. It makes me lazy. 60, nope, 59 miles an hour. Going to Los Angeles. Going towards Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Let's do a small pass. This canard is, a, is amazing. It holds the front end down. Corvette had a front end lift issue. If many of you own the C7, you will know. It, it doesn't, the front end lift suck. The canard really push it down. Especially with two canards. It's like a Formula One car now. Freaking insane. It's past his Penske. Past the Penske. Side, doing 65. That's what we do. Let's play in the automatic. The stick shift really sucked ass. Well, not stick shift, the paddle shift. Stick shift will even be worse, I believe. So much work. I used to drive this uh, E46 M3. Man, I gotta I have to go to the doctor, pedestrian, because my M3. I have to keep uh, shifting, and the clutch was so hard, I got a bone spurt. So how do you get bone spurt? It's a bruising. A certain part of your foot has bruising, and constant bruising causes a wound, internal wound. And the internal wound, because it's blood, it just in creates internal bleeding. It's like a bruise never heal, just continue bruising. And inside of a body, there's a lot of calcium. So calcium start building up. It's not like a scar. It's literally like a calcium. How they, how you how your bone grows. So you basically has all this calcium build up in your body, all this sentiment, and create um, I guess a, a, a slowly a pile of a of a very thin layer of calcium. Over time, as you lifting your foot up and down, the little puddle of calcium builds up, but in a smaller region as it goes further away from your foot then turn into a more like a needle point and that's when you start feeling the hurt 
you stop feeling the hurt when the calcium turns into a needle and the needle basically just against inside of your foot like a piece of meat or, or, of your muscle or tissue and that's when it hurts a lot so every time you walk you have a needle pointing towards your meat that's why a bone spur is and to avoid bone spur is not to get bruising or avoid doing crazy foot, foot exercise at the same location what's going on with this Penske? this Penske truck is uh I pass in on the on-ramp and the Penske truck truck decided to pass me and start going in and out of the traffic you're a dumbass you're a slow ass moving truck why are you doing this? seriously what the fuck is the Penske doing? Is a girl in the Nissan Versa earlier? Yeah, looks like it. Can't really go anywhere though. It is a Saturday afternoon. Everyone wants to get out because they're stuck at home during COVID. Now we are we are at the end of the COVID, basically. And people people are so excited to get out. So excited. And just driving around. Not even going anywhere. Let a delivery car, truck, like a FedEx. They should be the first priority. So yesterday there's a high speed chase. And they actually passed through here. It was kind of interesting. There's a little kid looking at me. And he's hiding behind the seat. It's hilarious. I don't think he knows what a camera is. Just know I was looking at his way. I must giving out a angry person vibe. Even though the window is tinted, the kid shouldn't be able to see me. But I think the overall shape of the camera causing the kid to think there's something happening. What is this Tacoma gonna do? I think people like to pass a sports car and getting right in front of them, so make them feel so make themselves feel good. I think that's what it is. There's, sometimes there's no reason I'm, I'm doing uh, same speed as everyone else not doing extra slow and they deliberately get in front of me this drive has become a rent a rent freaking golf course man I don't understand playing golf what's the point of playing golf I had a golf I designed golf courses it's like playing little ball you could just download your app makes no point if you want to walk around, walk around your neighborhood. You want to go drink, go to the bar. Just don't get it. Spend all this money getting on a little green cor ho ho uh, course, going up and down, driving on a golf cart. Doesn't really mean anything. Hitting that ball with different angles. Different angles, basic different irons. And just gotta practice that angle. It's like the most... It's like us... What, what, how do you call this? It's like basketball. It's like most of sports. You don't really take much IQ to, to do it. The angle of the ball, you gotta shoot it in a certain angle to see if you can shoot it at the angle. You gotta hit a little white ball, see if you get a correct angle, the distance. I swear, people invent all these sports just to make people dumb. For general public. Majority of the general public hate science, but they actually have science, basic science involved them, involved around their life all the time. They worship basic science. Okay. Oh, what do you guys think about the uh, the latest BMW, the front bumper? It's a uh, it's something, isn't it? I mix a feeling about it. It's between super ugly and just got awful. It is OEM, so people are gonna say, oh, it's factory. That's why I gotta like it. I gotta force myself to like it because it's factory. Ugly as hell. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.